Labor Day weekend, 2023. Just 13 short years ago, my brother and I were out here on this property, cutting down a bunch of trees because we just bought it. The fire had come through. We needed to clear a bunch of trees so we could bring in a lighthouse. Um, fast forward 13 years, we've got the pergola. So this weekend's plan is to take this pergola and you can see underneath so what we did is we made it flat, which was my first mistake. Second mistake was using this shade cloth stuff. Um, unfortunately, when the snow gets up on the shade cloth and it starts melting, it just drips and it destroys everything underneath and it's a big old mess. And obviously, and you can see over here, obviously the shade cloth doesn't hold up very well. Part of it's missing because of the high winds up here. So it ripped it from that end all the way. So I started pulling it all out. Um, so today's project is to lower this end of the pergola a foot. We're going to drop it. We're going to cut each one of the posts a foot, drop it down. Uh, my neighbor was nice enough, who lives down, down the hill here, who has a tractor, nice enough to let me borrow it pretty much any time I want um, with just asking. So I'm, he's got a, a forklift attachment. So I'm going to take, and the plan is to take and support this end of the pergola, lift it up a little bit, cut each one of the three posts, bring it down a foot, and so we'll have a, a, a slanted um, pergola. And then over here in the back of my truck, you can see I've got some of that corrugated metal roofing. So we're gonna re-roof this thing. Um, you can see that hopefully weather will cooperate. I was sitting out drinking my coffee this morning, sitting in the living room, and it was, it was raining pretty good. So I'm like, all right, perfect. Great day to do some roofing work. So that's the plan for the day. I got my, my boy Matthew is gonna be helping me out with this. And uh, we'll see how this goes. It should, be, uh, it should be an interesting day. First thing I need to, need to do is get the rest of that shade cloth off. There's a whole bunch of staples up there. I need to pull those out because I was trying to brace for the wind. Last night, I didn't take any pictures yesterday, but last night I already undid all of the electrical. So I had, I've got an electrical box down here where we plug in the fountain. And, and the Bluetooth speaker or whatever. And I have conduit that goes up and over so I can have my grill lights on. I have another outlet at that end. So I'm gonna drop it down first, rewire it uh, later, and then maybe put the roof on. Maybe I'll do the roof and then the rewiring. I'm not sure which, uh, which uh, I'm gonna do that in which order. So, but that's kind of the plan for the day. So we'll have a, a new metal roof on here. It'll be uh, really cool sounding when it rains. The other plan is to, so I've got, we've got these hanging pendant lights, which are battery operated. And I've got the little Edison looking light bulb lights, which you can kind of see at this end where they plug in. So I'm gonna put an outlet up here and I'm gonna have a switch on this post, on probably on the back side. Um, next to my grill, probably over here on this side, I'll put a switch so I can turn on and off those lights with a switch. And then I've got the, the light that goes up on my grill as well. Up in here, um, I'll put that on a switch as well. So that way we can just have a switch instead of having extension cords, you have to plug them and unplug them and all that stuff. So that's the plan for the day. Stay tuned. So here's what we're looking like at the top. So I gotta pull all this shade cloth up and here's what I mean by shitload of staples um, the thought process was to keep the wind from ripping it but it did here of course where you don't want it to stay and then over there is where I must have stapled the shit out of that corner <clears throat> there we go yeah see there it came up I didn't staple it very well apparently just in some spots. So, now I just gotta pull up all these staples, get these little fairy lights off too, that this is, the wires are just disintegrating in my hands. So, yep, just staple removal, just a little bit of cleanup, and then I can uh, go get the tractor and uh, and the boy, I gotta take the, the Starlink down, and then we'll, uh, we'll get to dropping this thing. Okay, small hiccup. You can see the forks are raised all the way up with the tractor. And I got about, hmm, about three feet. 
So I gotta, uh, gotta come up with a plan B. We'll see what I can come up with. All right, so here's the fix. Since my forklift tractor only went up, or went up three feet short, had a couple of rounds, big ones. They're probably 18 inches diameter or more and 18 inches tall. So we took two of those on top of each other and then I had some old stair tread that I nailed to the top of it to give it more stability on top of the, the two rounds. So you're able to lift it up, cut these two bad boys. Got one more to cut over there. The first thing I gotta do is because I got a bolt down here, I have to get out my boring bit and uh, hollow it out a little bit like I have on the two scrap pieces. Progress. All right, I realized I hadn't filmed the uh, completion video. So she's done. Got a nice uh, metal roof up here. It um, sounds really, really loud when it's raining. One of the things I also did is I put a couple of switches for the lights. So I've got the top switch will light up the underneath lights. And then the bottom switch lights up my grill lights, which is important. And uh, I do need to sw swap out this um, cover because it's spring loaded and it snaps your fingers. Um, another thing I'm going to also do is to put gutters on the back. Because notice when it was raining that um, the rain was just running off down here onto the concrete. Might as well catch that. So here's what it looks like underneath. But I'll show you the outside video of what it looks like kind of slanted so it is slanted the one thing i'm not really thrilled about is some of the back um posts especially the one way back then the back corner is leaning a lot so there was talk of maybe putting braces here and then maybe some sort of shade cloth to help uh grow more shade tolerant plants or veggies that kind of thing so but here she is, she's done. Pretty happy with how it turned out. The, um, the forklift tractor stumps thing was uh, interesting, but uh, it worked. There is actually a, an outlet up here that's a, it's a powered outlet to power my camera. So I got a, a camera out here, it's a pan tilt zoom camera, which I'll talk about that in another video. But this is, uh, this is it, she's done. The only thing I need to really do is add some gutters. I'm going to